My name is Lonnie Edelman, and this is Opportunities Knocking, which is a group that's set up to improve your career in, in three different ways, through informative presentations, through in-person networking with a SPIN, because I have something I call SPINnet, which is a little bit unusual, and also through personalized career coaching. So I do coaching in person, do coaching over the um, uh, webcam, or on the phone. So this is our agenda. We're running a little bit late because it actually rained in Southern California a lot. <laughs> so this is going to be skewed a little bit. Um, what we're going to talk about today is how to really use LinkedIn and Google for job search. Uh, there's a lot of reasons to use LinkedIn. LinkedIn is not the everything. I've actually found, for me, for job search, Google is an amazing tool. The two of them together really complement each other. So we're going to go through mostly LinkedIn and a little bit of Google, because I think most people in this room pretty much know how to use Google. It's been around forever. Um, then we're going to have a, a break after the presentation with refreshments, <coughs> and we'll do our prize drawing. And then we'll do a, a spin net session, which is normally about a one hour session that we have following the presentation. And um, after that, we have an open room for whatever. So, so some of the advantages of social networking sites. This is what a lot of people like about it. Shy people like the fact that there's no phone or face-to-face -face meetings. You can lurk behind your monitor, and you can do things. It's, it's quick and easy. Um, exponential networking is very possible. You, you contact two people, and then you start going through their network, and pretty soon you've gone from two contacts to 200 contacts or 2,000 contacts. Of course, LinkedIn, I think they it stops at 500, it says over 500. I don't think I've ever seen a number higher than that. But people have way more than 500 contacts. Um, LinkedIn helps you to organize your contacts. It's very good <coughs> at doing that. And it frequently doesn't require an, an initial introduction. Question, when you say it um, organizes the contacts, is that with the paid upgrade or as is? No, I actually, I, I don't pay for it. No. Now, Marty's son and my son actually run a recruiting company back east, and they, they pay for it. I don't even know what extra stuff you get when you pay. Yeah, every time I've read it, I was like, mm, for that amount of money, it's small, so why even bother? I would guess anybody in this room would probably not need to upgrade. And I think at the point when you needed to upgrade, you'd probably know it. You'd know there was something missing you just can't get. You've looked and looked and looked. You can't get it. Oh, if I pay, can I get it? And you probably find there's something like that. I know a lot of people who are recruiters, mm -hmm. maybe realtors. Maybe they buy this because of, of the I'm features that you can of. get. Yeah, not yet. Um, disadvantages. So we have the advantage of social networking. One of them was no phone or face-to-face -face meetings. So if you're bashful, you can, you can get in there and do things they never get to see you. The problem is you have a low probability of getting a job without meeting the hiring manager face to face, which is actually what this group is about. This is probably, in, in my mind, this is the reason for Opportunities Knocking, is to teach you to get in front of a hiring manager and get the job. So sooner or later, you have to do it. So the great thing about SpinNet, the philosophy is it lets you get to know everybody in the room quickly, get to give your 30-second your speech to people, and then you can do it with the hiring manager. So I, I would hazard, or I would risk saying that LinkedIn is probably the most effective professional social networking site. Um, there's a guy named George Cow. KAO, who's on LinkedIn, who does all this social media coaching. 
And he's high on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, and he knows the space for each one of those. Uh, I think for most people, I think LinkedIn, for professional reasons, is going to be the best place to be right now. Uh, when you, like I said before, when you combine LinkedIn with Google, you really have a very effective way of doing job search. Um, it, I would say it's very close to the paid services that, that you get at LHH or DBM, which actually this, this was, we had a little brainstorming session at the last event and I said, what do you guys want to hear about? And, and I think, Scott, you were the one that said you lost your databases at LHH and you'd like to see how you could replace it. So I actually started doing some research and found out this really isn't too bad and it got better in the interim, which is the reason why I had to redo all my screenshots. They changed it on me. <laughs> Oh, LHH is Lee Hecht Harrison. It's, it's a big, huge um, uh, HR organization. They handle, uh, they help companies hire, they help companies fire, they help companies handle people that are fired. It's an outpost. Yeah, so oh, that's. So they have the But they don't find jobs for you, they teach you how to. Yeah, they're so not. They come in, so companies hire them to come in and fire yes. people, or um, they replace the HR department? They, they, they help. They, I don't know if they actually come in and have the person sitting in front of them and say, you don't have a job anymore. But I think they help companies decide the demographics of these things because there's all kinds of legal implications. So I think they help with everything associated with HR, both before pre-employment, post-employment. And I think you can go in as an individual, but it's very, very expensive. Yeah. So, so most corporate can't. Huh? I was told you can't. You I cannot. Asked, I asked them that question. They said, no, you cannot. A special circumstance, you can, but yeah. I knew somebody did. Yeah. But it was huge. Certain circumstances, yeah. but no, they work with companies. Very expensive. Yeah, they are. So I sort of envision what I do, this practice that's growing, as sort of like a mini LHH. I, I've been through LHH myself because I was laid off at HP. I was, I was laid off a lot of times last decade. I can say it's last decade now. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> last decade, it was really bad. This decade is going to be great. So I was laid off a lot last decade. And one of the times I was laid off at uh, HP, and HP uses LHH. So I went there, and I was actually quite impressed with them. Uh, so I went through their whole program, the two-day seminar that they had, and I learned a lot about it. But, but mostly, it made sense to me. And, and it, it's the kind of thing that you learn when you're out doing business, closing deals and talking to people. It's not any different than that. So when you go out and do a deal as a realtor, same thing. That's what LHH teaches people to do when they don't know how to do it. What's your take on Meetup? On what? Meetup. You, you know, I've never used, I've been to the site, but I've never done anything with it. I, I don't know. I've, I've done Facebook a little right. and Twitter a little. MySpace I never did, right. but I know a lot of people did, and I think it's maybe something that's, um, uh, that used to be. Right. I don't know if people use, do they do MySpace anymore? Uh, well, so when you listen to this guy, George Cow, you might look him up on LinkedIn, K-A-O. He's a pretty impressive guy. Uh, his practice is teaching people how to use social media to advance their career, to advance whatever. And he's, he's saying that LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter are locked together if you use them right. I listen to, he gives a lot of one hour free seminars on the phone, there's a call in number. And he actually gave one January 1st. I couldn't believe anybody would do anything like that New Year's Day, but he did. And my wife and I were available, so we, we put the phone on speakerphone and we listened. At the end of that, my head was like going around like this. There's, which shows me that if I was serious about doing all that, I really needed to call a guy like George. Uh, what he said made sense. So I think that, I don't know about Meetup, I don't know about MySpace, but there is a way to, to work through the system with Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn and get something from each.